Have you ever heard the story behind the words on the Statue of Liberty? It's called the New Colossus. And it actually comes out and emerges at a pivotal time in history. Now, the year before Lazarus' poem was read, in 1883, the Chinese Exclusion Act became the first federal law that limited immigration for a particular group. Think about this with me. The year before, and though it, it, it was set to last 10 years, it kept being extended and extended until the law was permanent in 1943. The year after Lazarus' poem was read, the European countries met in Berlin to divide up the African continent into colonies, colonization. And so the New Colossus, the Statue of Liberty, literally stands at the intersection of U.S. immigration policy and European colonism. Think about that. Well before the statue was dedicated, these were the realities in the country. It was a time when the vision on that Lady Liberty was counter, contrary to much of the reality going on in America and in the world. So perhaps, in a sense, like your gathering here, our gathering in North Carolina and our gathering here today in D.C., and similar gathering 58 years ago, Lady Liberty stood both as a symbol of protest and the dream of prophetic possibility that one day America would truly be a place where what is said on the bottom of that statue would be fully realized. Listen here to it again. With silent lips, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, yearning to breathe free the wretched refuge of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, the tempest lost to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door.